In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve this error when you run ROS2 run, ROS2 command not found. Okay, so when you run any command in the terminal with ROS2, whether it be ROS2 run, ROS2 topic, ROS2 anything, if you get ROS2 command not found, it can mean two things. First, you haven't installed ROS2. Uh, second, you have installed ROS2, but you haven't sourced your environment. And I guess that if you are here, you are probably in the second scenario where you have installed ROS2 and then you start to run ROS2 program and it doesn't work and you get this error. So let's see how to fix that. You can go to slash, so we see the slash opt ROS, and then you will write the name of the distribution, so the ROS2 distribution you have installed. For me, this is Foxy. So I am here in the slash opt ROS Foxy directory, and you can see here, you should have those files and folders, and this means that ROS2 Foxy is installed on the computer. So if you want to be able to use any ROS2 functionality in that session, in that terminal, you will need to source that script there, source setup.bash. And once you have done that, ROS2 run, you will see that we get, so we get a usage message. So basically we haven't provided all the parameters for the command, but now the command works because the ROS2 command with run verb, so the ROS2 run command has been executed correctly and you don't get the ROS2 command not found anymore. So that is the thing that you probably forgot if you got this error here. And now, of course, you can source this from anywhere. Okay, you just need to write source slash opt slash ROS slash the name of the distribution and setup.bash. And this will do the same. And now if I open a new terminal, let's see what happens. If I open a new terminal, ROS2 run still doesn't work. Okay, and why is that? Is because you need to actually do this command every time you open a new terminal. So if I source the script here on that new terminal, then ROS2 run will correctly work. So you have to remember to always source the setup.bash before you use ROS2 functionality in any terminal. And if you don't want to do this, well, it's pretty simple. You can go to the bash sc. So the bash sc in your home directory and then dot bash sc is the name of the file. And you can go at the end of the bash sc. So you have the file here, you go at the end. You copy and paste the source command and then you save the bash sc and you close the file. Now let's close all the terminals and let's open a new one. So when you open a new terminal, the first thing that will happen is that the bash sc will be executed. So it means also that the source setup.bash will be executed and now it works every time. Well, if you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses to learn ROS2 step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.